Josh Christensen. Shaw hits it up the field here. Another ball over the top. Running past Jaime is Midgley. He'll try to get it into the area and put a cross across goal. It's a good grab there by Christensen as he stood his ground at the front post. Capitalize on those times where you can trap a team into the corner. Good run here from Thomas. He's onside and he's put it in the... No, he went off the post and out. Wow. What a bounce there for the Mavericks. Uh, corner kick. Good cross in. Goalie will come out though and he's going to get there. Doesn't actually get the ball and eventually the referee will call the free kick. Thought he might have called that right away, but let it play on a little bit there. You know, and that, and that calms things down a little bit. Um, brings the energy of the attack down. Barely Hodgick trying to open up for a shot. He will and he hits the bar and it goes over. Okay. Unlucky there. Both teams now in the first half pit the post. Maybe that's called winning the battle but losing the war there. Mm -hmm. Christensen nearly misjudged that one, but he's able to get to his right, knock it past the post and out of play. Back to the left for Perez. Missouri State swinging side to side defensively. Quite a few numbers back for them. Ball into the box. Correa is going to try to turn on this. Still trying to get a shot off, and he puts it in the net. How about the strength from Kevin Correa holding off a couple of defenders and finding a way to curl that one past the goalie and into the net. Mavericks won. Missouri State nothing at the half. We'll be back in the second half in about 14 minutes. Thomas plays it back in the middle for Missouri State. Nice little one-two back to Thomas. And that's going to find the net. This time he hits the inside of the post. Christensen didn't think that was going to be coming to his right. Caught another deflection. Yes, it did. I think that was uh, off of Gamboa that time. Buckle, who's their leading goal scorer, up ahead to Laird. Laird coming on the left. Andre Servan nowhere in sight. Cuts it back. Chance for the shot. And it's deflected. Thomas is going to head it in. That did not work out well for the Mavericks. It's going to be Correa. It's into the wall. Not a good free kick there from the senior. He'll scoop it up, try to play in across. Good ball towards the back post. Amati trying to get there, just couldn't hit it towards the goal. Oh, that's a great tackle by Moulton. Plays it right back across, but no one was there. It's back out to Correa. Another chance for the Mavericks still as the senior's got it. He plays across and another good one, but no one there for Omaha. Correa needs to get in the box where he can be yeah, on the yeah. end of those. Moulton will eventually have that one cleared away. Oh, yeah. Come back to him, Correa trying to turn amongst three defenders. Ball popped back in there another time, and a handball! Penalty! Mavericks are going to have a chance to equalize from the spot! Approaches the ball, going the same place, and he does it again! Amir Ali Hodgik with penalty kicks in back-to-back -back games. We're tied two apiece with 15 minutes to go. That's a good penalty kick, you know, if, if the goalie, you know, he kind of was a kind of a look away penalty kick. But even if the goalie guesses left, he hit it hard enough that I think it's going to be difficult. It wasn't totally tucked away, but it had a lot of power on it. So uh, if the goalie guesses the right way, it's still a difficult save. Mavericks have it back, though. Ali Hodgik looking for Fazo. Ali Hodgik on the left. Did he overhit it, though? And he did. Uh, Cooler heads prevail there. Got to thank referee Miguel Ponduro Jr. From, for not feeling the need to go to his pocket there. Now comes the change of field from Omaha to Amir Ali Hodgik. Correa playing the 1 2. Amir Ali Hodgik chance to blast it. Deflection goes wide. Moulton nearly got to it. Lofton went into the box. Gamboa trying to get the shot off. Blocked, still there on the ground. The defender with it between his legs. Gamboa trying to get to a shot. And eventually it'll come to the goalkeeper and actually going to be a free kick for our Missouri State before that. We don't want to tie at home. We want to win all our games. But with that being said, that was our fourth game in 12 days. And so we had some key guys out tonight with uh, yellow card suspension. We had a couple of guys out for injury. Um, so it was, we knew it was going to be tough going in. Uh, and the team that we played in Missouri State, they're a very organized team. I think defensively they are number one in the country last year and giving up goals. And so I think the positive was we, uh, we got two goals against a team that usually defends really, really well. We came from behind. We played a lot of younger guys that haven't really stepped on the field much this year. Um, and uh, we didn't lose. So I think there are some positives, uh, even though we didn't win at home. Well, you'd like to see Correa get on the ball and see if he can do the same thing as he did end of the first OT, but unlikely now. Missouri State's going to have the last say, it looks like. 
Playing out to the right side, looking for the cross to break the Maverick hearts. Gets by the back post with six seconds to go in OT. Back into the middle, chance for Missouri State. Christensen saves the tie at the last second. Wow, what a save. And we'll wrap this one up two to two. And in a night where they were missing several starters, yep. they still get a decent result against the Missouri yeah, State side that was impressive.